The problem is, is you think people get fat by gorging themselves on food. Tell her what she wins, Bob! Alright, this is called a stitch. This video is a stitch. Uh, it's called Causes of Fatness. <laughs> Causes of Fatness. Uh, okay. I'm leaving you people. What do you mean, you people? All those causes, all those mysteries. The mysteries of the universe. Me for their problems. Yeah, eat eggs in the morning. It'll literally change your life. Menopause, ah. insomnia, depression, diabetes, hypothyroidism, metabolic disorder, Thyroid PCOS, ah. vitamin D deficiency, Cushing syndrome, kidney disease. I'm going to pause her. I don't know how long she's going to be going. I don't know what the argument is here, but everything here is related to lifestyle habits. Literally everything. Everything she's saying is related to insulin resistance, which is lifestyle habits and endocrine disruptors. Uh, insomnia. Yeah, eating garbage isn't going to help with that. Like, so far, everything is lifestyle habits here. There's epigenetics and predispositions, but it's all triggered by lifestyle. Okay. Medication. All things that cause obesity. All things that cause obesity, um, your terrible lifestyle habits cause those things. Let's do that again. You ready? Listen to this list and tell me what's not solved by better eating sunlight. Vitamin D, go outside for fuck's sake. Vitamin D deficiency, then go outside. Go for a walk or spend $5 for a thousand vitamin D pills. There's no excuse there's no excuse in 2022, especially in this fucking country, to have a vitamin D deficiency. There's no excuse for that. Easiest thing to solve, period. Let's listen to that list of gunch again. All right, what are these? Tell me something here that's not a lifestyle habit. Menopause. Insom okay, menopause. Well, that's just called life. Um, but also your lifestyle habits surrounding that triggers... <laughs> It's not just like, you know, just hit menopause and blow the fuck up. It's because of everything else that you're doing at the time. Depression, diabetes, hypothyroidism, oh, my metabolic thyroid. disorder, PCOS, food. Food. vitamin D deficiency, food. Cushing syndrome, what is that, kidney actually? disease, food? medication. Medication. That's true. Some medications do. Some medications can and do cause weight gain. Why are you on those medications? Lifestyle habits. All things that cause obesity, none of which will be cured by eating eggs in the morning. This is actually probably one of the stupidest responses ever because a lot of those things can be caused or solved or improved by eggs in the morning. Not only is eggs one of the most nutritious foods a human being can possibly eat, especially if it's like pasture raised eggs. Um, but the idea that you're eating real food can absolutely fucking improve 1000%. So you're dead. Absolutely fucking wrong. Will an egg solve your problems? No, not in itself, but the fundamental concept of eating real food like eggs. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking absolutely. fucking lutely fucking lutely No medication except my fucking antidepressants. By eating eggs in the morning. The problem is, is you think people get fat by gorging themselves on food. Tell her what she wins, Bob. The price is right. Okay. There we go. The problem is, is you think people get fat by gorging themselves on food. Mm -hmm. You should probably look more into something before you just completely discount people's lives. Like, is that what she was doing? She was discounting people's lives. Is that what the previous video was doing? I know we only saw a portion. Is that what they were doing? Discounting your life. I'm discounting your life. Yeah, that's what's happening.
you're not being validated. <laughs> validation. <laughs> but my validation. But my life experience. Oh, you have a life experience. Well, guess what? So do 7.5 billion people. A lot of lived experiences out there, but no shared reality. <sighs> this chick thinks losing weight means shaving off a couple grams of eyebrows here. All right. This one hurts. Let's finish it, please. People's lives. <laughs> like, not all of us are sitting on the couch eating bonbons all day. How dare you? <sighs> How dare you? How dare you? Not all, not, <laughs> I love that part. Not all of us are sitting on the couch eating bonbons every day. Yeah, but a lot of you are. A lot of you are. And here's the thing. You have these like hyperbolic statements. Like, of course, not every obese person's eating bonbons because what they're doing, they're eating too many calories. They're eating too many vegetable oils. They're eating too much gluten. They're sucking down too much atrazine and glyphosate as a result of all these plant products and bullshit. They're eating too much processed sugar and high fructose corn syrup and artificial sweeteners that disrupt the gut. They're not getting enough sunlight. They're not meditating. They're not eating nutritious, nutrient-dense food like organ meats or grass-fed beef or pastured eggs or raw dairy, things like that. They are not lifting weights, not exercising, not doing it consistently, or they're walking and thinking that that's going to solve everything, or they're just doing tons of cardio, uh, or they're not sleeping properly. You know, as a result, you know, seven pillars, like for fuck's sake, not everyone's eating bonbons, no shit but you're still eating out of plastic. You're still putting deodorant and absorbing phthalates and parabens and aluminum through your pores every fucking day with all these garbage lotions and hairsprays and fucking trash. So what else? What else? What else? What else you got? Not everything is about bonbons. Okay. Who cares about bonbons? Who the fuck eats that shit anyway? Crown. You are the king of the policy. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know. 